So in this video, I'll be showing you guys my everyday drawing routine. This routine helped me gain consistency, discipline, and just solid drawing improvements. And I like to call this the Saitama method. We already know Saitama, but for those who don't, Saitama was basically just a normal dude that worked out too much and surpassed the human capabilities. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10km run consistently for 3 years before eventually gaining the strength to defeat any opponent with a single blow. But we're not actually gonna try to do 100 push-ups every day, but instead we're gonna take the idea of practicing every day consistently, hence the Saitama method. So a year ago, I wasn't good at drawing anatomy, until I decided to dedicate a tiny portion of my time to drawing every day, until it became a habit. I was focused on steady improvements, studying one subject at a time, instead of just drawing whatever I feel like drawing. At first, when I was diving in with the anatomy stuff, it was really overwhelming, and I was easily bored because I can't draw anything decent. Even though my favorite artists draw so flawlessly good, I thought maybe they have some sort of secret technique that I didn't know about. So I just did what every self-taught artist would do. Watch a bunch of drawing tutorials on YouTube. So I watched professional artists hoping I would find a technique to get better. And so I did figure it out. And it was really simple too. It was just start practicing. But you probably heard this a million times already. But if you're still struggling like I was a year ago, then you should ask yourself, what exactly should I be practicing? Now, that depends on what you want to draw. Now, this is really important. When I got into drawing, I wasn't really sure what exactly I wanted to draw. So I just started drawing whatever I felt like drawing. In my head, I thought maybe if I just draw long enough, I'll probably get good. But at that time, I wasn't really studying or actually learning how to draw. I was just scribbling whatever I think is cool. So I really wasn't going anywhere. You can't reach your destination if you don't even know where you're going. Think of an art that you want to create. Once you find something that you like, work towards that goal piece by piece. Just like Saitama, he wanted to get stronger so he worked hard as much as he can. At the end, he was able to achieve his goal because he stayed consistent and dedicated. But of course, learning how to draw and getting stronger are two different things. Anyway, let's get to the actual drawing part. Saitama method. So basically, the Saitama method is like a workout but for your drawing skills. We're not just gonna work hard by the way, instead we're also gonna work smart. Since we're training the mind, not the body, pure hard work won't cut it. Remember, practice doesn't make perfect. You must find the right practice first. You're better off drawing and copying body parts for 10 minutes rather than mindlessly drawing for 10 hours. Let's say I wanted to learn about anatomy because I wanted to draw some anime characters. So what I do is divide the anatomy stuff into parts and study them in different time frames. So I wouldn't be overwhelmed by everything. This is not an in-depth study of the anatomy by the way, but of course I can make one if you guys like. But I'm gonna show you guys a drawing exercise that would help you get comfortable in drawing anatomy. I do this on a daily basis without any fail even if I don't feel like drawing. This anatomy exercise tackles the whole body and can be divided into three levels. So the first level of the exercise would be the gesture drawings. This is a good start for drawing the human anatomy since this would give you a solid foundation to work on and get an idea on how the whole body works. So basically, you draw a pose from a reference in a short period of time like 30 seconds or a minute. So you don't have to stress about the details too much and shifting your focus to the overall gesture and pose. I do this like every day because it's really easy and not depressing since it only took me seconds to do. If you're having trouble on what part to draw first, here's what I always do. First, I start with a circle. This would be the head and add some lines to have an idea in which direction the head is facing. The next is I would draw a line that connects everything like the rib cage and the hips. Then I would add some lines for the shoulders and hips to give it a flow and direction. Then I would just add some points for the elbows and knees. And there you go. There are three parts that I always keep in mind. The head, the ribcage, and the hips. 
once these three are executed properly, the rest would be easy since the limbs are just going to be lines and points. Okay, now that we have that foundation, let's turn those random gesture lines into simple shapes that would help us draw the actual muscles and details later on. After spending thousands of hours doing this, I've developed a better understanding of the body that helped me simplify it in 3D form. So this is how I basically perceive poses since I practice it countless of times. And I'll just draw that without being overwhelmed about anything else. Remember, this is just a practice, so just let loose and don't worry so much. Okay, now for the final level, which I do at the end of the week after those studies and practice. So I draw poses from memory and just create some full characters. This is a great practice challenge to apply what you learn and maintain those information. At first, I didn't do this because I was really intimidated and I can't draw anything decent. So I just stuck with drawing with more reference until I got comfortable enough to draw from my memory. Patience and dedication is key to all of these. You can practice an hour, two hours, or even four hours a day, but you still wouldn't be good tomorrow or the day after. But if you stay consistent long enough, I'm sure you're gonna master it. Trust me on this one. Here's an accurate description and advantages of doing some gesture drawings to help you conceptualize. Gesture drawing is a technique used by artists to quickly capture the essence and movement of a subject. It involves drawing a series of loose, quick sketches that convey the energy and flow of the subject's pose and movement. There are several benefits to using gesture drawings as an art form. Firstly, it improves your observation skills as it requires you to quickly observe and capture the subject's pose or movement. This can help you understand human anatomy and movement better. Secondly, gesture drawing enhances your creativity by allowing you to experiment with different styles, techniques, and compositions. It also stimulates your creativity and allows you to develop your unique style. Thirdly, it helps you to develop your hand-eye coordination and muscle memory. Gesture drawing requires you to make quick, accurate marks on the paper or your digital canvas, which is a great way to improve your sketching skills. Additionally, gesture drawing is often used as a warm-up exercise before beginning a more detailed work. It helps you to loosen up your hand and get you into the right mindset for more complex work. Finally, gesture drawing is a fundamental skill for animators. It helps them to capture the movement and flow of their character and provides a solid foundation for more complex animation techniques. So overall, gesture drawing is a valuable technique for any artist to practice. It helps to improve your skills, stimulate your creativity, and provide a solid foundation for more detailed work. Alright, so hopefully this video helps you, and if it does, feel free to sub. And remember, always move forward.